This standard involves identifying and explaining patterns in arithmetic, so we'll begin by looking at addition, patterns that we can see from an addition table. The strategy we'll use is to use unit chips to represent sums. So here's an addition table with the first addend identified in green here from 0 to 9 and the second addend identified in yellow from 0 to 9 and the sums are in the squares in the middle here. So the sum of 3 plus 1 is 4, for example. One of the patterns that students will see quickly is this diagonal pattern. As you go from right to left and move up, you'll see a diagonal pattern where the same digit repeats itself over and over and over again. So let's look at why that's the case. Let's take the example of 7. So here are the 7s that we see. And if we look at this row, the first row, this 7 is represented by 7 in the first add end, or just 7 green chips, and 0 yellow chips is this first 7. Now, if we take one of these chips away and replace it with a yellow chip, then we get this 7, which is represented by 6 green chips and 1 yellow chip but we still have 7, of course. Likewise, this 7 here is represented by 5 green chips and 2 yellow chips, and each time that we take one chip away from this addend, we add it to the other addend, and because of the properties of arithmetic of addition, we get the same value. So this goes on, of course, all the way through until through the table until we get to seven of the yellow chips and no green chips and that's where the pattern ends. Now another thing that you can draw students attention to here is the fact that this is a commutative process. So what up up here we decided to call this six uh, 6 plus 1, but we could just as well have called it 1 plus 6. We still have 1 yellow chip and 6 uh, green chips, but whereas this would kind of be thought of as 6 plus 1, we can also think of it the other way, 6 of 1 plus 6, and we'll get the same value. It's interesting to see this same diagonal pattern right here. Of course, there are many, many other uh, patterns in here involving both addition and subtraction. Uh, at one of them, for example, if we look at the other diagonals going down from right to left, we see that these values are all, all differ by 2, 6, 8, 10, 12. So we have a bunch of even numbers, and then we have a bunch of odd numbers, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13, and then evens again, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14 you might ask students to think about and explain why those patterns exist. So there's a lot of patterns to explore here. This is just one example, and I would encourage you to look at some of the others.